Okay, I'm gonna do a little video here on how to wire in a Yeti board with an S600 or S40. I'm using an S600 right now, but you can use an S40 to be the same. Before wire hack, um, I'll have externals. And I'm gonna use a nine volt holder. It's already got glued in and a, and a switch, which I have underneath the board. And we're gonna wire this in. Okay, I'm gonna start with the board power. It's under my board and I want to get it out of the way. So I'm going to pull the board off. And what I want to do is I want to take my positive wire to my switch. So I'll need to cut that, tin it. Now I already tinned the wires, on the, the terminals on my switch. I pre-tinned them so that I'm ready to, to uh, solder everything on. So now all I need to do is cut the wire to length I want it. And I just want to cut right to that switch. Strip the wire. And I want to use my positive wire for this. Then I'm going to solder the wire on. Oops. Okay, that's my first wire. It's from my 9 volt holder to my switch. Okay, now I'm going to take solder on a short piece of wire because I'm only going to my board, which is right above the switch. And I'm going to solder in. A short piece of wire that I can take to my board for my power. Once I have that soldered on, I can put my board back on. Now once I have it done, I'm going to skip to, to the wiring of the camera and I'll get back to the switch when I'm ready. But I'm going to use some shrink tape. I like to use shrink tube. I like to use shrink tube to cover it. It makes it look nicer. Um, that way I don't have wires floating around all over the place. So I'm going to cut a piece of shrink tube and I'm going to heat that on. Once I have my heat shrink on, you heat with a, gun, a heat gun or whatever matches. What you want to do is make sure you don't get it too hot because you can actually melt the wire, the insulation off the wires inside. So I'll shrink it to where I want it without overheating it. Very important not to overheat it. Now I'm moving it around so I don't have the heat in just the one spot. You can use a lighter or whatever works for you. Now I do recommend uh, tinning the wires for the board. Once they're tin, we can hook them up. And what we want, what we want, is um, orange is my power, black is my common, yellow is my shutter, and white is my lens cover wire. Okay, so I want my power, which is my orange one, which is to turn the camera on. That goes under P for power. 
so I can slide that in there. And tighten the screw down. I can slide that in there and tighten the screw down. And like I said, my black, next one's power common, so that's my black, which is my common. Next is shutter, which is my yellow. And white, which is my, goes to uh, shutter common. And that's my lens cover wire. So I put that. And these are all marked on the board. I'll give you a, sh a, bit, a shot here in a second. And as you can see, power. Hopefully, you can see that on there. Power, power common, shutter, shutter common. Orange, black, yellow, white. Your colors be different. It doesn't matter the colors, as long as you know which where they go. Now I can set my board on here. And I can screw my board down. Now I went and marked the board as far as which is positive and which is negative. Um, the reason I'm doing this is I'm using half inch standoffs. And the connector that connects to the board, which is that thing there, is too long. and It's longer than a half an inch. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to solder the wires directly to the control board so I can set them on there so positive will go on positive and it is marked on the other side of the board the same thing with my negative My negatives in. So the power to my board's hooked up. Um, like I said, do that because there's not enough room. Now I want to do my externals. And from my camera, I can put a connector in here. Or I can wire. I'm gonna wire this one up right to the right to it. So I'm gonna cut the wires and we'll sew her up. Okay, I'm gonna slip some, make sure your batteries are in there, some shrink tube over top of my external wires for my external uh, batteries holder. I'm just gonna shrink that too. And we don't wanna overheat it. Just wanna shrink it. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the camera. 